Yes. I can do it. What's up, guys, and welcome to the Friday. Every Friday, or at least every Friday, that I do do a video. We can't do you. Be that way. Uh, I wasn't gonna introduce you guys, never mind. <laughs> These are my friends. I go to school. School? Class? Class. School? Class. Acting class. This is Greg, aka my fake new roommate. This is Emily, aka she is single and ready to mingle. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Last week I asked you guys to leave me your comments about uh, what you guys think about physical attributes and if it's important. To be attributes? Attributes. Physical attributes. Attributes. And if they're important in a relationship, obviously I don't know how to English correctly. <laughs> I picked out six of your comments. We're gonna read them out loud and then give our own opinion and then give you guys an opinion of the and then give you guys an ah uh, the and then give you guys a <laughs> different question for next week. So let's get started. Boom! Yes, physical attributes are important, at least to a certain extent. It's the first thing that attracts you to another person. But how, but how important physical attributes actually are probably depends on a variety of factors. If you're in a serious re relationship, then it's probably not as important to you anymore as it is to someone who is merely looking for a fling. Picture the following scenario. You're in a serious relationship with a beautiful woman, uh -huh. slash very handsome man, and then okay. one day the unthinkable happens and your partner gets into an accident and it's permanently, uh -huh. permanently, permanently, Permanently disfigured, would you leave her or him? Wow, I imagine that entire scenario. I would fucking leave them on the spot. Duh. Next question. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're, you're a so horrible smart. person. Does that say poor K? Uh, yes. In my opinion, no poor K. Poor K means why, right? No porque, in this case it means because. In my opinion, no porque, not everything can be from having big boobs, ass, and dick. It comes within the heart. Most people will like who they really are in person, like how nice they are, their personality, respect towards other people, mm -hmm. who they really are. Mm -hmm. I dated three guys that liked me because I had a cool personality. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, because I had a cool as fuck. Cool as fuck. Personality. Okay. I told them about me. They didn't care if I was chubby or if I didn't have this or that. They cared about who I really was, and I think people should at least appreciate what they have in their life. And then she put a little heart. By the way, love your videos. And then she put the little purple devil guy. So she dated three guys. Does that mean she dated three guys at the same time? She didn't specify. Oh. You didn't specify. But in which case, regardless, you are for physical attributes. Regardless, <laughs> she told them about her and they about appreciated her for her. So her. That's fair. Well done. So I'm gonna read this as as I imagine her saying this. Okay. Oh my god! I was thinking of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I was thinking of this today. I think it depends on what you're seeking. Obviously, you're gonna look at their parents first before you even hear them speak. For instance, I'm attracted to tall, thick men that have a gorgeous smile. Thank you. No, I'm not talking about you, George. No. I like feeling protected. I don't like feeling like I can push a guy around, meaning puny and skinny. I'm affectionate. I'm an affectionate, affectionate woman, but I'm also that type that likes to wrestle. I'm sure later. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. I'm sure later, once you get to know them, you'll know if you're still interested. Hey, people make it so complicated. LOL. Ah! Okay, now I'm sorry, but can I read a little bit of that? How she really meant it? Because you just made her sound <laughs> sure. off. I think it depends on what you're seeking. Obviously, you're going to look at their appearance first before you even hear them speak. For instance, I'm attracted to tall, fit men that have a gorgeous smile. That's okay. how she meant it. Okay. I wasn't joking. Yeah, you made her gorgeous. sound like a uh, typical like valley, valley girl. girl. I definitely think physical attributes are important in starting a relationship, but they are not that important in a relationship. Talking usually starts with physical attraction to someone, but once you have a mutual attraction, you need to know how they are. You decide if you truly like them based off their personality as y'all start talking more and more. When you start establishing feelings and the mon 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 
monogamous <laughs> relationship, I think that's when physical attributes become less and less important. What good is an attractive person without a good personality to match their looks? Very good question. It's a thought. Does it make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that was very, um, like, well, yeah. well put. Well, well done. In my opinion, I think that people shouldn't go for someone just because of their physical appearance. If you think about it, if you date someone with a big ass and big titties and shitty attitude, it's not worth mm -hmm. it. And if you date a girl with a good personality and doesn't have much ass or boobs, it's worth it because after all, the personality is what counts and what will keep the re relationship loyal and positive. Girls with big butts not only get your attention, but other guys' attention as well. So that means it's a possibility that she's cheating on you as well. Okay, well. She sounds like a jealous person right off the bat with that last well, sentence. Like I think that, yeah, sure, other guys are gonna look at it or other girls are gonna look at it, but that doesn't mean that they're cheating. Jeez. That doesn't really make sense to me. Yeah, I agree. Right? I agree. She said it's a possibility. It's a possibility. She said it's a possibility. So you know what? She, she worded it correctly. She's drinking coffee with whiskey. It's just <laughs> I think looks are important. As much as I want to be Disney here and be happily ever after with the hunchback of Notre Dame, yes, that's not girl. gonna happen. And remember, you did say relationship, not marriage. So this isn't too serious. If you see a pretty girl slash guy, you'll talk to them, get to know them, and what happens, happens. If you see someone kind of unattractive, I know you're not gonna be like, damn, I want her to be mine. No. <laughs> The way you look shows how much you care about yourself and your health. Looks are important, yes, but to a certain extent. But hey, that's just me. You don't like that answer? She, well, because I'm, in the beginning, she just said- I don't doubt. Oh, okay, okay. That's she just said, and you're remember, talking about a relationship and not, not marriage, marriage, so it's not serious. But a relationship- So why would you even get okay, into this relationship this, if yeah. it's not gonna be serious? This is this is my answer because to that. Because a lot of people date casually. Okay, no, dating I- and Dating relationship and relationship, I relationship are different thing, I agree. Right? Yes. This could also be somebody who's been a little bit jaded because she said, as much as I want to be Disney here and be happily ever after, with the hunchback of Notre Dame, which I mean, let's be real, every girl does, that's not gonna happen. I mean, as women, when you reach a certain age, you're jaded because if you're single at this point, it's because every other relationship you have hasn't worked out. So I, I personally agree with her point. Just saying. Yeah, sure, I'll start. Um, I think we all have a sort of prejudice when we first initially see someone, and that of course is the physical attraction. And that's just an initial like spark, like you either think they're attractive or you don't. Mm -hmm. And I think, because I personally like to build relationship friendly wise, like in a friendship sort of sense, before I get to know like a girl romantically. So um, to me, a person could get way more attractive once I get to know them. Like a seven can turn into an eight, an eight, nine, because, nine, ten, or like yeah. a seven to ten. Like it all depends like on a lot of things for me. I'm very complicated with like, it makes sense. Yeah, like I, I, I take into a lot of account when I make a decision All to get into a relationship. Yeah, 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 a lot of things have to fall into place before I feel comfortable committing to a relationship. Because I do believe that a relationship either ends in a breakup or a marriage. So I'd love to take my time anyways. I give it a 50-50 okay. between emotional and physical. Because then the other shit It's definitely important. I weigh, I weigh it evenly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. My turn. Yes. Yeah. Okay, because I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce off of that one. Okay. okay. Saying 50-50. I think you can't necessarily put a number on it or or a rating or any any other sort of how would you phrase that? You can't you can't give it a number how important it is to you because um, I think it's natural that we're going to either physically be attracted to a person or not. Bottom line. I think that the older that you get, the more experience that you have, the more relationships you've been in, you realize the other factors that come into play that are much more important than physical attributes. So for me, a lot of it has to do with respect and um, willingness to communicate and to compromise and um, just support, being supportive, which is really hard to find somebody who can for, for anybody, it's, yeah. it's difficult to find somebody that's gonna support you no matter what and love you unconditionally. So a lot of times, physical attributes become much less important. Because, so it's kind of going along with what you said, Greg. It's like, yeah. 
But bottom line, physical attributes are definitely important because you can't be in a relationship with the perfect man or woman in all those other ways if you're not physically attracted to them. It's just not gonna work. I don't, there aren't any necessarily, there aren't, wow, well, can't talk. <laughs> that coffee is hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> definitely agree with both of them, but I am also the type that I do physical is definitely first, no matter what. And I am patient enough, because I know there's people out there that are like, why would you get with the hot girl that's a total bitch? Then I won't get with her. I would wait for the hot girl that is not the total bitch, but has everything else. The you whole, want the full package. The full package. Yeah. Which is why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's why we're all single. My life has yeah. to be uh, yes. God. Yes. Well done. Okay, guys. But uh, for next week, boom. All right, what is one thing that would be a relationship breaker for you? One. One. One thing. The one thing. Like, the, I guess, I'm assuming like the, 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 one. the biggest thing. Like, yeah. if you do this shit, or if you are this, or if you think this, or blah, 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 it's done. I'm that's a tough question. That's a good question. Yeah. That's a good question you guys answer. Uh, make sure you guys leave those answers down in the comments. Go subscribe to Greg. He started a YouTube channel, people. His links are down in the description. Go follow Emily. Her links for her Instagram are down in the description. I do post here every single Tuesday, sometimes Fridays. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody knows you never go full retard.